everyone. So I'm going to take a couple minutes here to explain what you need to do for the week seven discussion. All right. So let's take a look at it here. Where are we at? There we go. All right. So this week, I thought we'd have a little fun. The title of this week's discussion is called How to Procrastinate. All right. If you read here under the question, it says, for many of us, procrastination is a real struggle. Let's have a little bit of fun with this discussion, though, and use some humor to explain your process for procrastinating. If you were going to explain to someone how best to procrastinate, what steps would you include in your process? Teach us the steps to next level procrastination. If you are typically not a procrastinator, you can still answer the prompt above. You can still, you know, even though you don't procrastinate in your own life, you could still address the prompt exactly as I just read it, the steps that you would take to procrastinate, or you can take the opposite approach and teach us your process for avoiding procrastination. What steps should we take to avoid next level procrastination? So I think many of us fall into that first category. Procrastination can get the best of us sometimes. Um, a lot of times, you know, unfortunately, uh, but there are some out there who have overcome procrastination, uh, or they are just wired to really not ever be a procrastinator. Um, I have struggled with procrastination a lot during my life. I have gotten better at it. So I could go either way with this. I could tell you the steps, you know, to becoming a next level procrastinator. And I could also teach you some steps for how to overcome it. My husband, on the other hand, has never been a procrastinator a day in his life. I don't understand it. It's, I don't know if he is of this planet sometimes, <laughs> but he, he might have a hard time answering the prompt the way it's written in the first section there. Uh, so he would probably need to go the second route and teach us the steps to avoid procrastination. You know, you can go either way if you fall you know, in the middle or you're, you're highly proactive and um, manage your time well, uh, you can teach us how to do that, right? So what we're doing here is explaining a process, right? So take us through the steps of how to become the world's best procrastinator or take us through the steps of how to avoid procrastination and be you know, awesomely efficient and managing our time wisely. Okay. All right. So your response should be at least one paragraph. Try eight to 10 sentences. Again, you want to take us through the process. Okay. Try to have your first post up by Thursday night so that everyone has plenty of time and options to get those two peer responses done by Sunday night. Um, the discussion will remain open for an additional week, of course, but remember if you're posting during that second week, it's at a 50% point reduction. So do your best to have this up and finished by Sunday night so you don't lose those easy points. Okay. Again, if you have questions or if you run into any technical difficulties, please reach out. Um, otherwise, I look forward to reading your posts. 